Hi, now for this question, we've got a curve which has parametric equations x equals cot t plus 1 and y equals cosec squared t minus 4. And it's valued for t being between naught and pi. And what we have to do is show that the Cartesian equation of the curve is a parabola and sketch the curve. Also, we've got to state the domain and the range. So you might like to have a go at this, in fact, if you've been watching the earlier videos in this series. So I'll give you a moment just to pause the video. When you come back, as usual, either fast forward just to check out your working, or I'll take you slowly through the work solution. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. So we need to find an identity, a trigonometric identity that links these trig functions, cot t and cosec squared t together. And that identity would be this one. 1 plus cot squared t is identical to cosec squared t. So if we take our parametric equations, x equals cot t plus 1 and y equals cosec squared t minus 4, then what I can do is I can make cot t the subject from this one. So cot t is going to equal x minus 1. And I can make cosec squared t the subject from this parametric equation. So we've got cosec squared t is equal to y plus 4. And because we've got this identity here, I'll just put since 1 plus cot squared t is identical to cosec squared t, we just substitute these into our identity. So we're going to have then 1 plus cot t, which is all of x minus 1 squared, and that's going to be equal to cosec squared t, which we can see is y plus 4. And with that, I can make y the subject, and we therefore have y equals x minus 1 all squared, and then we've got 1 minus the 4, and that's going to give me minus 3. I could leave it like this. It makes it very easy to sketch the curve when it's in this particular form. Or I could just expand out and I've got y equals x squared minus 2x and then plus 1 here but minus another 3 that's going to be minus 2. And you can see I've got a parabola. Okay, This is a quadratic equation here. So when it comes to sketching the graph, I'm going to set up my axes and I'm going to use this version here because it's going to be very easy to work with when it's in this completed square form. Using transformations of graphs, I can take the graph of y equals x squared, which is going to look something like this. And then all I need to do is for x minus 1, all squared. That's just going to mean translating the graph one unit parallel to the x-axis to the right. And the minus 3 means we drop it down three units parallel to the y-axis. And from here you can see that when x is naught, y would be equal to minus 2, where it crosses the y-axis. Okay, so there's our graph. Now when it comes to the domain, that's going to be valued for all real values of x. So we can put that in. The domain is any real value. And when it comes to the range, well, the range is from this lowest point upwards. That's going to be any value greater than or equal to minus 3. So we've got our range there. Y values are greater than or equal to minus 3. OK, well, I hope you'll be able to get that right if you tried it. If not, at least able to see how to do it so you can model other examples on this. So thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you in another video if you need further support.